Hi, I'm Kurt Lovell from Lovell's Nursery, and today I'd like to talk about water gardening and specifically water gardening plants for your home pond or water feature. Uh, water gardening plants provide several functions for the health of your home uh, pond and water gardens. Primarily, they provide shade to prevent algae blooms, and they provide uh, water filtration. They also provide some shelter for your fish and other uh, frogs or other creatures that you might have in your pond. So let's talk a little bit about the plants themselves. There's basically three different types. Uh, you have submersibles, which uh, of course you plant and sink to the bottom of your pond. You have floating plants, which float on top. And then you have marginals or shallow water plants, which are generally planted around the edge of your pond. So let's look at a few of these varieties and we'll talk a little bit about those. Uh, first of all, this is a probably the most popular floating uh, plant that we sell. It's called uh, water hyacinth. Uh, water hyacinth, as you can see, has these long filament type roots on it, uh, which filter the water, help to keep the water clean. They also uh, multiply fairly quickly and provide a lot of shade uh, for your pond, which helps prevent algae growth. Uh, they also get a nice uh, blue flower on them later in the summer, so they do give you some uh, ornamental value as well. They are an annual plant. They will die once you get a killing frost in the fall, so you do have to replace them every year. Uh, but it's a very economical and worthwhile plant to put in your water garden. Uh, uh, marginals or shallow water plants are uh, uh, generally planted around the size of the pond in a foot of water or less. Some good examples of those, uh, of course, are cattails. There's many, many uh, varieties of cattails. Um, the smaller varieties, of course, are best for smaller uh, home water gardens. Uh, water iris is another good variety. Uh, there are several varieties of marginal plants. These are generally potted in containers and, like I say, sunk in about a foot of water around the edges of your ponds. Um, the other type of plant that we want to talk about are submersibles, the most common of which are water lilies. Uh, water lilies. Um, are probably the most popular of the submersible plants. They uh, are generally potted in large containers and sunk to the bottom of your pond in two to three feet of water. Uh, most varieties are perennial varieties which come back uh, year to year. There are some tropical varieties which you do have to purchase every year. Um, however, uh, they do provide surface coverage to provide shade and shelter for your fish. So they are very popular as well. Um, it's recommended that you have the surface of your pond covered by about 70% of uh, water plants, which will provide enough shade to prevent algae blooms and contribute to the health and, uh, of your pond and your water clarity. La, 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 la.